In all the previous videos and examples we've looked at, we have dealt with solving square root equations, but we've learned before there are more than square roots. There's cube roots, there's fourth roots, and fifth roots. And we see in this example, it's called solving a cube root equation. However, we see we also have a one-third power. Remember, one-third power raising something to the one-third power is equivalent to taking the cube root of it. So they are different notations for the same thing. And so the process, even though it's a different root, is the same. The idea is to isolate the object containing the variable first. And so the object that's contained in my variable is this 6x minus 3 to the 1 third power. I can't take the x out of this yet. I need to get this object isolated first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to undo any addition or subtraction. So I'm going to move the 4 to the other side. And I get twice the quantity 6x minus 3 to the one-third power equals 4. And then I'm going to divide everything by 2 to get rid of the coefficient. And that's going to give me just my object. It's going to give me my 6x minus 3, that entire object being raised to the one third power equals four divided by two is two. So the question is, how do we get rid of one third power? Well, when you're solving an equation, you need to keep in mind, what do you want your final statement to be? And it sounds silly to say this, but you want your final statement to be x equals. The question you have to ask yourself is, what is the exponent for x? And that is, well, if we don't write the exponent, that means it's the first power. That's what we want our final exponent to be, is the first power. But right now, it's the one-third power. So how do you change one-third into a one? And that is to multiply it by three. And so what you do is you actually take this entire object, and you're going to raise it to the third power, because then you're actually going to be multiplying these together using your power rule. Well, if you do that to the left side, you're going to have to do it to the right side. And that's going to cause these to cancel. And so you're left with just 6x minus 3 equals 2 cubed, which is 8. And you're going to add 3 and get 6x equals 11. Divide by 6, x equals 11 sixths. And as always, you have to make sure that you go through and you check your answer. And so what we do is we have twice the quantity 6x, so 6 times 11 sixths, minus 3 to the 1 third power, minus 4 should equal 0. Well, 6 times 11 sixths, the 6 and the sixths will cancel. And so I'm left with twice the quantity 11 minus 3 to the 1 third power, minus 4 should equal 0. 11 minus 3 is 8, so I have twice 8 to the 1 third power, minus 4 should equal 0. And 8 to the 1 third power is the cube root of 8, which is 2. So I'm left with 2 times 2, which is 4. So 4 minus 4, does that equal 0? Yes, it does. 0 does equal 0. And so x equals 11 6 is a satisfactory answer for this rational exponent equation, this cube root equation. So the process, even though we're dealing with rational exponents, is the same. Isolate the object that contains the variable first by undoing any addition or subtraction around that object. Then you get rid of a coefficient. And to get rid of the rational exponent, you raise it to the reciprocal power on both sides and then solve the expression from there.